Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have Trustfire LAP flashlight T30R. It was sent to me by Trustfire themselves, so big thanks to them. As always, I'll post a link to the video description where you can find it. Hello friends, I'm back today with LP from Trustfire, it's T30R and it's not a usual flashlight, it uses laser to produce light so the laser shines through phosphor and then through the lens which focuses the beam and you get zero spill and white laser. So here we have the box. Inside the box we have foam protection, we have cloth for cleaning the lens, we have manual, specs here, if you need just roll back or pause. We have lanyard, USB-C charging cable and velvet pouch. That's the box. And now the most interesting part is the flashlight. We have small flashlight with two buttons, one on the side and one on the back, which is used for turning it on and off. This to switch modes. Also you have the clip. Clip is moving freely. Here inside we have 18650 battery. This was included. Here we have the spring, as you saw in photos. Threads were grease enough. I was shocked how much grease there was. This part, threads are a bit shorter. And also we have spring here. Small flashlight, I would say DC, and front is lens. Now the UI. It has momentary on if you have pressed the button. If you click, it will lock and stay turned on. Side used to change modes, medium, high, and back to low. Strobe warning, if you hold, it will go into strobe mode. And that's the beam pattern. You see that there is no spill. And if I move back, it stays small. On the sides, it's a bit yellowish, but in the middle or from further distance, it looks white. Yeah, so now let's go to the nighttime shots and see how it performs in the dark. See you there. Okay, so now we have first mode on Trustfire T30R. Nothing we can see close up, but you can see the car standing away from me. This is medium. All the surroundings. Tree line. I can clearly see everything 
and we have high. High steps down first and then goes back. So ANSI is smaller than specified, but later it gets higher. Here's how it looks. And let's go up to the treetop. And close up. Also, you can reaccess high. One, two, three. This is a white wall. You can see a reflection from it. Okay, now we have the trust fire and on the right side we have convoy L21B with CS Osram smallest LED, at least the one I have. This is low on convoy, it's like 1%. It's 20%, much more spill. Medium here. Up in the trees. They look almost the same, just Convoy has more spill. Here is Turbo. And this is on high. Convoy throws much further. Not much, but a bit further. And the tint is a bit different. Tree line. And without convoy, we have zero spill because this is LP flashlight. And with convoy, we have spill. Okay, so now we have convoy 4X. 18A with SBT 90.2 on the right and on the left we have the LEP. Convoy on the lowest. Convoy 10%. 40%. Turbo. Here is medium. And high. And as you can see, at least I can see that the spot on LEP is much brighter. Here's how it looks on the car. And you have a lot of spill with convoy. Here is beam pattern and the size of it. Without it, you have only this and you can light up only the thing you want and with convoy two of them and let's go the next spot. Okay, we have now Convoy L21B, lowest mode, medium, here is medium, and the house is approximately 500 meters away. More than 500. Hi, on convoy. Have a 
bit of fog. Okay, now we are in the field, in the forest, and let's try 300 meters. So, second mode 20% on convoy L21B, and medium here. This tree line is approximately 300 meters away. Here is convoy. Turbo, 350 meters away approximately, LEP, treetop, convoy, LEP, Applying high. One more. Okay, now again LAP. One more and low. L21B. Turbo. High. We have 600 meters plus. And here is the lupine. Convoy throws further, but it's easier to see with LAP, at least for me. And we can even see further, not on camera, but I can see it with my own eyes. From over here. And the beams. Hi. We are playing Conway. Hello guys, so here is the flashlight and here I am, let's see how it looks. And we can clearly see the road, it's 200 meters away. All road is fully visible. You can see me walking here. I'm at the end of the road, about 200 meters away. And there, if you can see the roof of the building, it's 300 meters away. This is how it looks being here, when the light touches. And here's the flashlight. Hope you enjoyed those item shots. Now we have front end graphs and we see great stabilization here on medium and high modes. On high mode, it steps down almost immediately. So it's kind of minus, but I made this graph to show you that you can access high more than once on maximum brightness even without cooling. I hope you enjoyed watching my review. So let's dive into this flashlight, what's wrong with it and what's good about it. So first of all, I don't like that turbo steps down immediately after you, sorry, not turbo, high, high mode. If you access high mode, it stays for a few seconds, then just straight goes to medium, then goes back and then back again. And it stays on the medium mode. So this was what I didn't like about it. And at least maybe 30 seconds, if it could hold 
the maximum brightness for one kilometer range it would be nice and probably that's the only thing I didn't like about it you have all what you need inside you have the pouch to carry it so you don't scratch the front lens and overall I think this is a great introduction into LEP if you are considering flashlights uh, which has no spell yeah they are kind of specialized flashlights you can use them in hunting I would say and it's great because you don't hit the surroundings just the spot you need and others don't notice you that much as with normal flashlight and this is a great plus I would say for this flashlight and also it's good for signaling it has forward switch so you can signal somebody or just use Morse code so I think people who buy LEP flashlights they know what they are getting normal people won't buy those LEP flashlights and just go for normal ones overall I think run times are great for this flashlight it does not get very hot unless you turn high consequently like if you get on high like low minimum high and you just restart it it will always go straight to the top and then restart again it will again go top and then slide down in brightness yeah then it kind of gets not hot but warm yeah so great flashlight and for the money I think this is a great flashlight to try LEP from Trustfire. So thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and see you next time in next review. Goodbye.